A return to a southwest flow has finally brought snow back into the Klondike forecast region with upwards of 70 centimeters falling in the southern portion of the region. So we've been hard at work getting out on the sleds, traveling by skis, trying to get a handle on what the new load and warm temperatures is doing to this buried persistent wheat glare. That's meant a lot of digging and poking our nose into the snowpack. And the one thing that we've observed is truly how complex and variable this avalanche problem really is. This is our crust. Let's start at our full profile site at Fraser. Using this as a baseline, we can extrapolate the snowpack structure here over larger pieces of terrain throughout the forecast region. Let's zoom in on a profile site in the Fraser Lakes area. Here approximately 45 centimeters overlies our February 13th crust interface. But the more intriguing thing is the variability in test results and crust structure found across the profile, indicating that both on a micro and a macro scale, this layer is quite variable. And I just completed four uh, tests across this large uh, profile here. What we're seeing on a micro scale is a fair amount of variability in test results and the structure of the February 13th crust. So over here, we're seeing it in the form of quite a laminated uh, series of crusts with faceted interfaces. And then as we move across the profile here, um, so both the, the thickness of the crust changes, um, but also the facets above and below. So over here, we're getting hard compression test results on the facets below, failure below the crust. Uh, as we moved across the pit, we we're actually getting easier into the mo moderate results. And then over here, the crust is actually thicker and there's a layer of facets above, kind of four finger, and we are getting moderate results on top of the crust here. So that really just speaks to the complex nature of this problem. And Moving east into the fantail area, this facet and surface or layer is even more dramatic, producing wumph after wumph with each step and showed signs of propagation to snowback tests. Wow. Further south, upwards of a 100 centimeter slab now overlies the February 13th interface. The snowpack test results were even more variable here, with moderate to hard results and in some places, no results at all. Okay. Looks like it could be a beautiful weekend in the White Pass. Make sure you check out the latest Yukon Bulletin at www.yukonavalanche.ca for tips and travel advice for dealing with this persistent avalanche problem.